Well, hello once again. The Sims 4 roadmap has finally dropped. I don't know if it's just my impatience, but it felt like a long time for this one to come along. So I hope you're having a good day so far. So I haven't actually had a look at this, although I've had a little bit of a theme spoiled for me already, but them's the breaks. So we're going to go through and we're going to have a look and we're going to pull it to pieces and see what we think. Gotta say though, this time around after the uh, Crystal Creations stuff, I'm going to be trying to hold back my excitement. That was a bit of a letdown last time. I was so pumped for that pack. And then, well, you know the rest. Anyway, let's get to it. We got a new roadmap starting in May, I presume. We've had some leaks for kits before the roadmap this time. You know, I think they might have been genuine leaks, if you know what I mean. But yeah, let's let's get going, shall we? Let's Let's go. Let love in. Priming for passion, polished my look for a sultry splash. Two free stylish updates. The meeting, a little nectar led to a provocative plunge. It's a swimming pool, two destination kits. Hey, we have seen that kit, haven't we? Fountain of Desire made waves, but we woohooed anyway. One flirtatious expansion pack. Make your move. Not what I was expecting. Well, we're going again. We're letting love in for the second time around. You know, sometimes it doesn't work out the first. Well, it seems to be very centered around this An actual expansion pack. Okay, I was wondering if we were gonna get a game pack, but it looks like it's the full blown expansion. Okay, talking about a lot of love, about a lot of woohoo. One question I have to ask off the bat is, are we Finally, after 10,000 years of this game getting an attraction system. We've got that sort of chemistry system that works across the board for all relationships that came with growing together. So I doubt it will be a chemistry system per se, although it could be like that. Are we going to get something of that nature if there is goddamn passion? I mean, you can't be lackluster about a sim and feel the exact same way about them as everybody else and have that sort of experience you would think. Are these, is there at long last going to be an attraction system? I've been using Wicked Whims for years now because that has a very good attraction system built in. Wonderful Whims will get you the same deal, my friends. Let's look at this thing again. I feel like it just, does, it just flies by. There's not much to it. Let's have a look. Let love in. Definitely, uh, you know, a focal point. Priming for passion. Polished my look for a sultry splash. Don't know why I had to say it like that. I literally just got up. I'm having my Milo and coffee, and yes, that is a thing I do have. Okay, the sultry splash could be to do with the swimming pool. I said before I just had one theme spoiled, which was actually that there was something to do with, like, I thought it was love, but it seems more woohoo centered. But then I was forgetting that the, the kits have already been spoiled, and one of them actually looks decent, is a pool one, actually. Actually, 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 if I said actually enough, well, I think I have now. Okay, two free stylish updates. An update would send shivers down our spine now after how that last one went with Before Crystal Creations. The modders will be shud shuddering in their boots. Hang on, hang on, I need the visuals to go with it. Whoa, two free stylish updates, so stylish. Maybe there's more collaboration. Hey, look, we've got a hairdo here. Perhaps there is some more, and we've got perhaps some fingernails here. There might be some more collaborations with perhaps CC makers in the community, which is always a good thing. That's what I'm going to assume that is. Let's keep on going. Here we go. We get this pool as well. We got some, God, would it be nice if there was actually water coming down off the rocks like that? But from what I've seen, it doesn't quite work like that unless there is like some sort of feature that I missed. And yeah, okay. We've got some little clanking together. Cheers glasses there. Cheers glasses? I don't know. Like I said, I just got up. I'm barely functional right now, people. The meeting, a little nectar led to a provocative plunge. It is possible to go skinny dipping in The Sims, isn't it? So that might be where that's headed if you are that way inclined or if your Sims are. Um, so I'm guessing that they're sort of carrying the theme of, of passionate woohoo or just passion in general across the board. And the pool is apparently an opportunity for that. And we know from the, you know, the skinny dipping, it kind of is. Oh, it'd be good if they made like a proper full woohoo, you know what I'm saying? 
Okay, and this is opened here. Is this going to be another kit? We've got some sort of indoor styles, a hanging plant thing. Actually, this could be the other kit that was leaked, perhaps. I didn't quite grasp the concept of that one. It wasn't as obvious to me as the swimming pool was. But maybe it's a nice little place for your sims to have like a secluded date. Maybe it allows you to have that kind of thing going on. Two destination kits. Are they destination kits or is that something else? Destination? Destination unknown. I'm sorry I had to do it. Let's keep going. Uh, fountain of Desire made waves, but we woohooed anyway. Here's a fountain. Do you think this will be coming in a kit? No, it's probably functional. We've got a fountain that you can throw money in and sleep on. Wouldn't it be nice if you could have a little bit of a cheeky woohoo in the fountain? Maybe you can in the upcoming pack. Now, what do we think about this expansion? It's not giving us too much, but do you think this is a hint that it may be a city with all these buildings here and then there'll be a fountain? This looks like a bender. Maybe a semi-city because we do have some trees around here. Not that there aren't trees in the city but perhaps you know what I mean and maybe with like a body of water over here to swim in perhaps just trying to think of what the world might be like I hope oh god I want another city I really really do that would be really great fountain of desire made waves but we woohooed anyway so yeah make of that one what you will let's keep on going here okay here we go one flirtatious expansion pack flirtatious so it could be set in a world that is like a semi-city with a little bit of pretties as well and a fountain somewhere as one of the feature pieces of it. Uh, flirtatious. I mean, we've got My Wedding Stories. I always thought that would have been the time for them to bust out an attraction system. You know, I did read somewhere long, long ago, this is when I first started playing The Sims 4, that there was actually one supposedly coded in. There's a lot of things that are semi-coded in to The Sims 4 that never made the cut and I heard that you know how when you woohoo in bed sometimes you get fireworks sometimes you get things that are you know a little bit less obvious in the enjoyment thereof which is a roundabout way of saying it well I did read an article and I don't know what happened to it. I can't find it again, but I did read an article saying that originally there was meant to be a chemistry system and if you had the highest chemistry, you'll get the fireworks. I don't know if that is true or not, but I believed it and I read it. It seemed legit. So yeah, flirtatious. Maybe it's a city of love. Maybe. I mean, what else are they going to do? Give us give us some better interactions. Oh my God, I actually really, really want better dating scene. I feel like this is kind of, it's not the pack I was expecting, but it's an obvious pack because it fills in the blanks. It fills in the blanks. We didn't get this with wedding stories, which definitely should have, but didn't get this with growing together. Didn't get any more like romantic interactions there. The Sims 4 has become really good at selling you packs that fit in where others let you down. Like for example, high school years, even though it came before growing together, it is missing from growing together. All that teen stuff is missing. So they always sell you stuff that feels like it is missing from other expansions. And that's what I'm trying to get at with this. This is missing from everything proper romance systems better dates much better dates I reckon they could have better dates in this attraction obviously which I've said a thousand times now just a better way to actually have that kind of relationship with your sims the other thing I think is missing is better best friends they don't have much they can do together that differentiates them from other sims and that is an absolute letdown because having best friend in life is a big deal and I feel like it's overlooked a lot in games. That's just my mini rant. So that's my thoughts on the expansion. Am I all for this? Yeah, I am. I mean, I think it's cruddy that this hasn't already been in other packs. Not that I know exactly what it is. I'm just running on assumption. However, if it works, that's the material point, which I'll start ranting about in a moment. So let's keep going. What do you reckon? City again. Do you reckon we're going to get another city? And look, we've got a little bit of love. Is this like a sort of a compass thing? And do you think there might be a body of water? Imagine if they had those swan boats for real that you could go down the water in. Or those little paddle boats. Do you know what I mean? If there were things to make dates better, the whole city could be based around places to actually take your date and then have better interactions between the Sims and hopefully an attraction system. That's what I'm going to say it probably is at this point. Of course, I could be magnificently wrong, but that is my best guess. Make your move. Woo. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Sorry for that woo. That was uncalled for. Okay, well now we've got a very awkward coloured screen here. So we've got some kits coming. We've got some updates. 
and we got an expansion, an actual expansion. I, yeah, I think I've said everything I need to say about what I think about the expansion. Of course, at this point, it's hard to get too excited when For Rent and Crystal Creations were as problematic as they were. And so it sort of tarnished any sort of excitement, uh, you know, yeah. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. Thank you for watching this one. We'll see what happens with all this. And I shall see you in the next one, of course. Bye from me for now.